Okay, I am so excited to do the Black Canary interview. Mm -hmm, oh mm -hmm. my gosh, it's totally gonna hit the mark for my arrow obsession. I see what you did there. Oh, and the guy that built the bat cave in his basement? Come on, it's gonna it's, be sweet. Yeah, it yeah. sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh, and we're giving away the Harley Quinn bombshells collectible. It's true, we are. It's a pretty exciting day, Blair. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry, we've taken care of all of that. John, what was so important you had to show me right now on the floor? I hold in my hand here the very first issue of the new Mad 20 Dumbest People Events and Things of the Year, featuring Miley Cyrus, a very worthwhile candidate for being one of the dumbest things of the year. What's your inspiration throughout the year? I think the stupidity inspires us, that people just keep doing things that deserve mockery. Now, unfortunately, we went to press with this before the Toronto Mega story broke, and that's just a gift that keeps on giving. But we have plenty of stuff in this issue. Issue everything from Obama to uh, Reese Witherspoon and her DWI. There's always something going on, whether it be in politics or pop culture, that we can go after. All right, you guys, so I'm here with someone you might recognize as Black Canary, which is so cool just to say. How did it feel when you found out that you were gonna be Black Canary? I was so excited. Because <laughs> originally, I came in and I auditioned for a character named Lisa. Uh -huh. And it was just a reoccurring, they didn't really say anything about it. But I started looking on the websites and like reading like uh -huh. the fan forums and people were talking about Black Canary, this and that. So I was like kind of like hoping it was gonna be it. Are you reading the comic books to kind of get an idea of stories or do you just put a lot of yourself in there? Well, I got some comics from you guys. Yeah. And so I've been reading those. But mostly with Canary and Sarah, I just take the situations and really put myself into it. Mm -hmm. I always try to do that with any of my roles, really bring myself, because that's the way to be the most truthful, at least for me. In the end of the episode, there's a pretty big cliffhanger where they show some stuff back on the island, but you leave Starling City. So are we going to have you back there? Give the eyebrow answer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I feel like Laurel has to see that her sister's all that. Yeah. I cannot wait for more fight sequences and I'm, I'm gonna be crossing my fingers for one between you and Arrow, like you guys are. Tom, you're introducing Batman to Earth 2. How does your version differ from the Dark Knight that we all know and love? Our Batman is something we haven't seen before. What motivates him and what drives him hasn't been seen in the DCU ever. We've created an all new origin for an all new Batman for this all new Earth. What can you tell us about issue 18? You're actually going to see a whole new character, someone who's never been seen before, and that's the character of Aquawoman. And we're also gonna see another character, someone we may have seen before, but we've never seen them like this. And I'm twice as excited for someone we're bringing in in issue 19, which I think everybody will be talking about. It's huge. First of all, I think you're very appropriately dressed to talk about Thank this. You. I went out of my way to make sure I was ready to show off the bombshells. Line. Yes, this is one of my favorite collectible lines right now. So tell me about the bombshells. They were painting these on airplanes in World War II, the Korean War. They were really inspirational images for the pilots and the crew of the plane. Our characters are also very inspirational, so it's a perfect storm, and they came out great. So walk me through the process a little. How does it change when you guys are coming up with a new figure? Well, if you look at the original sketches, underneath there, there's a couple of just poses, which we usually start with first. Mm -hmm. We're referencing what do we think this character should be conveying. The next one there is a couple of sketches of Harley trying different things. Mm -hmm. Here's a bunch of different Harley faces, which I thought was really interesting. You don't usually see this kind of stuff. This is a sculpt in progress, mm -hmm. which is, you know, when Tim Miller, actually the sculptor, when I showed him these things, he just freaked out. He yeah. like, give me this project. <laughs> this is the one of a kind, I should say two of a kind paint master that we do of every one of our statues, including bombshells, and we keep it here so we can reference it back and forth. Especially when you're looking at detail, like on the back of her jacket, where it has oh all the joker gosh. stuff. So we've got one through five here, mm -hmm. and Black Canary right now is missing because- Where could it be? Well, because the viewers have to find it, so they can actually win their own Harley Quinn bombshell collectible, right? Yes, that's the plan. Yeah. Well, I didn't it's... want you to feel left out of wearing mm. something for bombshells. Here we go. So I heard that you have a big announcement to make about bombshells, and I wanted to get appropriately dressed as well. Well, it's down here. And it's brand new. So Stargirl is the seventh bombshell. Yes. Talk to me about this new figure. Her youthful energy and her as a character really distinguishes her from some of the maybe slightly older characters that are in here. I don't like to keep saying new one's my favorite one, but, but it, it almost is. always <laughs> is. Yeah. And here we have it. I love it. The rest of the house is nice, but this is awesome. This is the Batcave. I, I see you've you got your pictures all over the walls. Collectibles are a big thing. It's awesome. And then this looks like the uh, honored area 
down here. This looks like this is where all your special stuff is. Yeah, a lot of my uh, hardbacks, some more statues. It really never ends. Uh, so while this is amazing for a family bat cave, my understanding is that you have a bat cave. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, it's actually right behind this uh, bookcase here. We just flip this guy open, press the button. No. No. And, and it right through here. <laughs> Go, please, after you. Come on in. No. Oh my God, this is amazing. All right, Chris, have a seat, man. I got a lot of questions for you. Absolutely. Wow. So Chris, about how long did it take you to build this and how many contractors worked on this project? Uh, actually, I can take all the credit. It was just me, myself, and I. Really? Um, yeah, I did this project over the course of about two and a half to three years. So if Bruce Wayne were to build a Batcave exactly like this, how much do you think it would have cost? Um, just this room alone, probably in the fifty to 60000 range. Wow. Um, it's because of the soundproofing in here, um, it's basically double the materials. And tell me about this piece right here. I wanted something that was screen accurate, really high-end display quality, and uh, I think I achieved it. And I uh, wanted to make sure it was well lit as well. You didn't make that yourself, though? No. Okay. No. All right, well, Chris, thank you so much for your time. I really pleasure. appreciate it. Uh, and we are so incredibly grateful for you allowing us to come down here. And because you're such a huge fan, from DC All Access, this is not out yet. Wow. This is an exclusive uh, to you right now. Uh, you so I much. hope it uh, takes a place of honor somewhere on one of your shows. Absolutely. Awesome. I'm sure I'll find a place before uh, the day's over. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Well, I'm going to hang out and watch some movies if you don't mind. Yeah, that's absolutely. Okay. All You're right, right ahead. cool. See? All taken care of. And I think it went pretty poorly, mm -hmm. which on our planet means pretty great. Yes. Did you guys leave us anything to do? Well, at the end of our show, we usually steal something from the viewers, so... I'm assuming that you're giving something away. Oh uh, yes, the Harley Quinn bombshell giveaway. Viewers just need to look for this Black Canary statue in the episode for a chance to win it. Yep, and click the link to find out who won last week's giveaway. Mm -hmm. That works, Inferior Self. Yes, yes, yes. Now if you excuse us, we have to put our episode of DC All Access up on MySpace, which is the most popular video sharing service on our planet. Goodbye, Inferior S's. This seemed nice. That girl was really pretty. He was kind of bloated. Can you get into one of these poses? Oh, I did. I did this one. <laughs> That's not bad. Let's I'm, see yours. Let's see your best bombshell my pose. My best bombshell pose? If I have to do it, you have to okay, do it. Okay, I'll try to do Supergirl. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Best interview yet. Okay.